Hello, I'm Angela Broughton from Poles and Blinds. I'm going to show you today how to make pencil pleat curtains. Measure your finished curtain length across the whole width. Pin in place. Take your heading tape, pull the strings out from the end, and tie it but not securely, and trim off the surplus. Make sure that your curtains, though you'll have a left hand curtain and a right hand curtain, so make sure that the knotted end of the tape is always to the centre of the curtains because the strings, although you'll be putting them into a string tidy or tying a tight nice knot, uh, nevertheless um, they may show on the leading edge of the curtains. So just mitre the corner, just a simple fold type mitre over so you've got a neat edge to take the tape to. Fold under and pin the tape to the edge of the curtain but drop down half an inch from the top and it's always a good idea if you can to start the tape where there's going to be a hook because if you if you have it sort of midway you'll have a flat section of curtain showing that isn't gathered. So pop a pin in, again keeping it at 90 degrees to the hemline. Just a quick tip that I've learnt over the years, it seems simple but always make sure that you've got the hook pocket on the front side or you'll end up having so all the way across to find that you've got the position of the hook sewn in onto the face of the curtain then you'll have to undo the whole thing again. So you need to have in a double row of pins keeping the bulk of the curtain to the left side so that you've only got a small section here by the machine to run through. So mitre the other corner in, pull the strings free and pin. Oops, stop. Okay, so machine heading tape in, again holding it firmly, going over your pins, and both rows, and then sew down each side, making sure you keep the knotted end with the knot clearly concealed and the pull cord ends with the strings free and you just machine down there to neaten off. Generally, um, you need about four spaces between each hook, so that would be about nine hooks to a width, but count the number of rings on your pole or, or sliders on your track um, before you fit the rings to make sure you get the quantity right. Take the loose string end and pull the gathers evenly. Tie a knot in the end just to make sure that you keep the strings pulled completely evenly and it's easy to do it on a flat surface to make sure that you keep the pinches right. So pull the strings evenly from the other end Wind them around your finger and then wind it around the knot. Pull through and there you've got a nice neat knot. So keep the knot the wrong side of the last hook so it doesn't show when the curtains are hung. And there you have a single left-handed side of a pair of Punch and Judy curtains.